Welcome to Academy Answers Podcast, a show dedicated to inspiring and providing actionable advice on life, business, happiness, success, and reaching your full potential. Have you ever felt frustrated that life isn't working out the way you expected? Have you been searching for answers without success? You've come to the right place. Each week, we bring you perspectives, ideas, and actionable content. We share with you proven and time-tested step-by-step strategies to help you live the life you deserve and make your dreams a reality. From health to finances to relationships to business, we provide the insights and strategies you need to reach your full potential. So buckle up and plug in because Academy Answers Podcast is about to take you to a new level of personal success. Morning, guys. Welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening in. This is a podcast where we talk about happiness, success, full potential. And we believe that the human life was meant to be happy. We don't believe in existence. We believe in surviving. We believe in living. And we don't believe in just getting by. We just we believe in thriving. And we believe that all human beings have that potential in them to thrive, to create the life they want. And we come from a place of abundance as signified by the, the universe. Everything in the universe, universe, whoa, everything in the universe is in abundance. And that's the order of the universe. There is no shortage of the natural elements. There's no shortage of the pieces that make up this vast, abundant universe and we believe that as main elements in this universe we also we too are designed to live in abundance to experience life at its best and at its fullest because that's what we are designed to do and that's what our deepest desires, that's what all emotion is geared at. We're all chasing a feeling. It's not the thing. It's the feeling that we chase all day, all our lives. That feeling of happiness, that feeling of acceptance, that feeling of respect, that feeling of love, that feeling of purpose. And we know that this is not going to come by osmosis. This is not going to come by chance. This is going to come by cultivating it. And if we don't cultivate it, there's nowhere we're going to have it. And we must just accept that and we must understand that and understand and be willing to do what it takes to get to that level in our lives. There's, there's no way to circumvent doing what it takes. And I'm not for the hacks and the the, the tricks and the strategies and the tools so much like I am for the fundamentals. Because I believe that if the fundamentals are there, the hacks and the tricks and the tactics don't need any particular set of skills, you could get somebody to do it for you. And it would happen. But if you don't have the fundamental principles, then you cannot get somebody to do something when you don't know what you want. You have to know what you want, what it's supposed to look like, and then you can get someone to go into the details of it. But you must understand the broader concept of it. A manager cannot hire a staff to come in and do something if they don't understand what they want the staff to do, what is the right thing to do, how is it supposed to be done, and what to expect, what result will come from it when we get it done. <clears throat> so this morning I'm on the topic of entrepreneurs and business. And um, this topic is the entrepreneurship and business is the space that I am in. I am an entrepreneur at heart. I've always been a business person ever since I was a kid. And I believe that business systems are what is responsible is what is responsible for us being where we are today in the world and the life we get to live now. It is solely 
because of the entrepreneur, not solely because of, mainly because of the entrepreneur, why ideas have been able to come out of the cell phone, of the television, of the, of, of the wheel, of, of, of anything, of, the, of the, the, the microwave, of the stove, of the air conditioning, anything that you, makes your life better, of businesses um, that brings food and different variety to your um, world, all that comes from entrepreneurship. So we have a bunch of people now who want to be entrepreneurs out here doing the, their businesses and running their 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 businesses um, on in different ways and doing different things. But there is a way that. marketers mess up everything and and companies who understand from a higher level um, come out here and they make their pitches and they they design their ad campaign and their promotion campaign and somehow unsuspecting entrepreneurs and consumers alike get caught in the hype and get lost in the fray and it only work for these corporations and marketers who understand from a higher level and you see it happening with 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 companies like uh one of the most <coughs> outstanding example is companies like uh robin hood <coughs> we come out here and it is marketed and sold to to to, to the kids to this generation that let's buy stocks invest in stocks um, you can make money from stocks it's a way to they, these people are making this million of these millions and a lot of money from stocks and doing all sorts of stuff and everybody gets on that bandwagon and it never worked for them it never worked for them they dabble a little bit and then they get out, they lose their money, they make a couple of dollars, they get out, they get scared, they don't know what to do, they get stuck, they peek out. And it is not that it stopped working for them or it's not that it stopped working for business people. You see somebody go to the office and they, 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 make, they make a good cupcake and they're selling cupcakes, excuse me. And they're selling cupcakes and cupcakes is doing well. And then all of a sudden it, it peaks out. It doesn't do so well anymore. It, it's not, I'm giving them that revenue. They stop and then they start to sell clothes. And they do that for a little while and, and it stops. And they never really get any traction to scale to any level. And this morning I want to talk about the reason why businesses get stuck the reason why uh, people try ventures, business ventures, and they don't go anywhere with it. And it goes back to the fundamentals. Uh, there, there is a way to try to get to level 10 and get, reap the benefits of level 10. There's a common phenomenon to get to level 10 and reap the benefits of level 10 without going through the stages so and and i and i cannot get tired of saying this we come out here and we have people who because they can enter into a transaction and come out with a positive revenue return put 10 in get 25 get 30 get 50 and or they buy something for six, sell it for 15, find find 20 people who, who will buy it for, for, for 15, they make a hundred bucks, and they do that for three months, and they get to a thousand bucks, they get to four thousand bucks. They start to think that they're good, they got this and the rest is automatic they'll get to 100k a million dollars they'll build big businesses they'll have a, a you know growing and a budding side hustle for the rest of their lives 
but there's no way to do it in a real way, in a scalable way, in a sustainable way without learning the fundamentals, going through stage one, two, three, four. And I guarantee you, everybody who you see online telling you about how they have been able to do this in six days and do this in six months, no skill required, no this, all of that is a marketing ploy. And you are going to need skills. You are going to need the knowledge. You are going to need the know-how. The only way to have that know-how is to build the know-how. And the most you will know is by doing. You have got to do your reps. You have got to do your reps. The guy you see on the exercise program on YouTube who is telling you that, come on, let's do this 15-day challenge and you're going to get abs and you're going to get triceps and you're going to get biceps. He has already done the work for many years to look the way he looks or she has done the work to look the way she looks already she's just maintaining you cannot compare your level one with her him or her level 10 it doesn't work that way and the sooner we get that into our psyche the sooner marketers are marketers will never be 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 honest about this marketers are marketers they want to leave out the the, 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 the hard stuff give you the punchline um, attractive um, stimulating stuff so they can sell what they have to sell and that's a whole different psychology but you have to learn as an intelligent person that things doesn't work that way there's a way where you have to once you've picked your spot, once you have made your decision, if you're going to do buy stocks on Robinhood, if you're going to sell stuff, if you're going to um, offer service, cleaning service, um, whatever it is that you're offering as a service, plumbing, electrical, whatever area, whether it's professional or it's just um, low level skills. You've got to come to the understanding and appreciation that anything that is worthwhile or anything that will be sustainable and anything that is going to give you a certain level of return will have to be built. You have to go through the stages. You have to learn. You have to go out here and do you have got to do your reps. There's no way to circumvent building through the stages. You have got to learn the ropes. You have to got to put enough reps on your belt. That's not to say that you're not going to mess it up. You don't have a job on the world. You don't have a job on the marketplace. Huge companies who know what they're doing um, end up going out of business end up losing valuation, ends up totally um, bankrupt because markets have changed and trends have been different. We see Blackberry, we see a lot of these guys. Um, we see um, Kodak, we see multi-billion dollar companies um, just disappear. But what you must understand though is that when you see these brands disappear, when you see these brands disappear, make no mistakes about it. The people who build these brands, the people who come to have these brands, they are not at rock bottom. These guys are investors. These guys are business people. Their money is somewhere. They have their their. In most cases, they have their whole, their entire game set up. It's working somewhere else. Something else is happening. They manage to build something else because once one thing is going and running, they're onto three, four other things. This is high level stuff. Do not 
worry about these guys who oh you remember this and everybody's making an example of them but if you notice there's they're not making an example and talking about the individual they're talking about the company because the individuals are far removed and are advanced and moved on and is doing something else and it don't matter to them they are just playing at a different level of the game so what does it mean this mean for you this simply means and this is a message i'm trying to bring to you that when you come out here and you're trying to make money from stocks any business venture that you're in any investment venture that you're in you cannot ignore you cannot circumvent going on the learning curve you have to have your hand on the pulse you have to know what you're doing you cannot go off decide that you're buying properties and every money you get you just buy and you don't do any research you don't have any mentorship you don't have any education you're not following the market you don't understand what you're doing you're not choosing the best methods you're not um you don't have the information you cannot just go off buy properties just like you're not going to just you should not just go off buying stocks and you go off building businesses or getting into airbnb you must do the work you must do the work to learn your craft and to learn the industry you're in and to learn the business systems that can run your business effectively and profitably that's that's what i'm saying and while and business is one of the the, the 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 most exciting for want of a better word word form of a venture because you know if you're going to 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 school uh to be whatever lawyer doctor whatever engineer you have to sit there and you have to just grind at it grind at it grind at it nobody's hiring you to be an engineer you're not getting any practice you're not learning as you go you got to do it first they got to give you the degree they got to hire you as an apprentice then they put you in the field and it you don't touch the field until many years after business is not like that you can be learning the field and you can be making money and you can be applying what you learn and you can see the results from the get you can test you can adjust you can find ways as you go right away and that is a plus that's something that you should um be excited about because you're not just learning in thin air and waiting for a certain day you're doing it now and it's happening now but the main point of this podcast this morning is to get people to appreciate to cut through the noise of the ads and to cut through the noise of the coaching programs and to cut through all the noise and understand that you have to start at the fundamental level. You have to start at level one. You have to know what you want to build and you have to understand how things are built. You cannot expect to have this nice split level house and you ignore the fundamentals of building a foundation for split level 3,400 square foot building. You cannot do that. You have to know what to do because you cannot go to level 8 in business, let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, you cannot go to level 8 and then you're trying to get people to help you to sustain level 8 when you don't know what you want them to do. So you hire a marketing team People say, oh, I hired somebody for my Facebook ads and it didn't work. Well, what do you expect? What are the deliverables? What you what 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 are they saying they're gonna do for you? Is that proven? You have to learn it. You have to know what your reference point is. You gotta get in and you gotta understand what businesses what work in business and what don't work, how marketing work, how finances work, how um, personal work, how management work how production work you must understand that and understand it from the best level and then it's easy to get someone to help you it's easy to scale it it's easier to understand what 
is the next step. But if you're thinking that you can just, you're making money now and you've been making money and you just need to bring the, this to the customers and you're not going deeper and you're not understanding from a higher level, sooner or later, it's going to come crashing down. Because the thing is, many people, many people get, get, get started in the good times you know things are good the economy is good um, there's a there's a there's a there's a new need there's a great demand there's an amazing opportunity and they don't have to do much work the money just keep rolling the money killers keep rolling it and they extend themselves in many different ways go on big investments um, get huge mortgages um, enroll the kids in expensive school, build out an expensive lifestyle with a lot of attachments to it. And then the market changes. The thing is, when the market changes and it gets tough, you immediately start to see who are the true professionals and the true pro peop uh, business people. The skilled business people, the market start to separate that. And those who are no good disappear, wiped out. Like we have since the, the, the inflation rate started to go since a lot about the first quarter of 2022, when all this COVID um, thing hits and the, the money printing thing start to backfire on the world. Over 70,000 Bitcoin billionaires have been wiped out. Millionaires have been wiped out. Because they think that what is happening will always be happening. And they never covered the downside. Because they don't understand how business works. They don't understand what to do. They think that they're geniuses. Because it was good. And it didn't need any special expertise. And they're just doing it and doing it, doing it. And they're not building the expertise in the background. They're just going along and going along and going along. And riding the wave and riding the wave and riding the wave. But when there's no wave and you got to row yourself, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to be lost. And that's the message I want to bring to you this morning. Have a great day, guys. Hope you learned something from it. If you learned something from it, share it with somebody else. And see you on the next podcast. Thank you.